Our next caller is Heather from North Carolina. Hey, Heather, how can we help you? Hi. Um, so I, um, I'm getting married in October, um, and right now I'm a travel nurse. Um, just to give a little context, I have a background mostly in endurance training, um, marathons, half Ironmans, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm looking for just some recommendations for the direction that I should go with my um, fitness regimen as I move towards the wedding. Um, I've never really had an aesthetic goal or like a timeline for um, when I want to like look or feel a certain way. Um, and to give a little bit of background for my weight training, I have about four years of somewhat weightlifting experience. Um, and when I say weightlifting, I mean picking up and putting down weights <laughs> about four years ago. But I really started weight training about two years ago um, with powerlifting, Olympic lifting and that kind of thing. Um, and CrossFit. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, it's okay. But any any recommendations that you have, I'm, I'm open to them. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. So, how, how much time do we have again? What's the What's the time frame for the wedding? Yeah. Um, so I get married October 9th. October 9th. And, and so, what's your ultimate goal? Are you is it, is there an aesthetic goal, or you look? Is there a performance goal that you have for that? Um, I think short term, like pre wedding, more aesthetic, but long term. I'm an athlete. I've always been an athlete. I think performance would be a great direction to kind of transition maybe after the wedding. Okay. Um, but yeah, for the wedding itself, uh, aesthetic would be the goal. Well, if, if aesthetic well, your focus right now. Yeah. If it's aesthetic, <laughs> then I would focus, uh, really make the cornerstone of your workouts resistance training. That's what's going to give you the sculpted, uh, look. It's what's going to speed up your metabolism, make it easier to get lean. And then nutrition. Mm -hmm. Those two things are, are going to give you the aesthetic mm -hmm. goals that you have. Now, after the wedding, what you can do is you could trade resistance training workouts for performance or athletic type workouts. So let's say you like to run. Um, mm -hmm. And let's say leading up to the wedding, you're lifting weights three or four days a week, which is probably a good routine. After the wedding, you could back down to two days a week of resistance training or one day a week of resistance training and then run two or three days a week. Uh, but leading up to the wedding, if it's aesthetic, train like a bodybuilder and mm -hmm. look at your nutrition. Those two things will get you looking the best, the fastest uh, versus anything else. Well, we even we have a little more time. I'm, I, if I'm doing my math right, we have like four to five months. So mm -hmm. we we and I, me, what I would do with you is I would run anabolic first, and then I would trans and then I would transition you into maps aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And then when you get done with your wedding, then I'd pull you back to a, either a one day a week with anabolic with your running or like a, a MAPS performance type of a program. So that's what your programming would look like for me. And that you have plenty of time. So I think that we could do mm -hmm. a lot. I think the anabolic is a perfect transition from what you're coming from and a great place mm -hmm. to start you. It's also the way we, we wrote it with that intention to start most people up. Now, technically, I would normally move you to performance, but since we have an aesthetic goal and we have a time frame. I would skip you right into maps aesthetic. So that's what the programming would look yeah. like. Yeah, just challenge yourself because it is going to be a completely sh different shift of focus. Uh, oh. I know for me <laughs> specifically, I'm always kind of trying to voice this that, you know, I don't really focus on hypertrophy that much. But when you do go all in that direction, your body's going to, you know, definitely change and it's going to respond uh, in a different way. It's a totally different way to, to, to train and stimulate the body. So just trust, trust in, in, in the process of that. I know a lot of athletes like have a hard time because they want to jump back and do functional type exercises and things that will apply more towards like their true passion, but uh, you know, go all mm -hmm. in it would be my suggestion. Okay. And yeah. And just to give a little bit more background, I'm a travel nurse now. So okay. right now, um, when I'm traveling with, I have about 170 pounds, including a bar, um, that I'm working with. And then I have 25 pound dumbbells. Um, and the last like week or so I've, I've done starting strength, uh, with like the Mark Ripto program. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of thought that was maybe a good way to start transitioning into doing more mm -hmm. weightlifting for the time being. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. a that's a solid routine. Uh, but okay, yeah, go. I would go maps anabolic, maps aesthetic, and you have enough you have enough weights to be able to do both programs. Both of them come with a dumbbells only version as well, so that okay. they, they can both be modified for the equipment that you have. Do you have access to either one of those programs? Um, I don't. All right, we'll send that over to you. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, and congratulations on uh, getting married. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's right. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that the the 
I want to look good, <clears throat> but I also like to run. Like to run a lot. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, this, I'm not necessarily you know talking crap about running, but when it comes to aesthetics and getting lean and having the sculpted look, it's not the ideal way no, to do that. It's, it's far from it. Yeah, it's, it's a completely different goal. So yeah, that's again, it's the same on the other end of it. It's like I want my cake, but I want to eat it too. It's uh, you know, it's the athletes. It's, I can identify with this uh, in terms of like having to then do what I don't really normally do because um, you know that's that's what's going to have the most impact on my body. I think it's because everybody has a person in their life like that, right? The the friend who who runs and they have like that great physique also. Mm -hmm. And so you see that oh, and you're yeah. like, Oh, you know, well he does this or she does all yeah. that. And I, I like that. And I'd like to do that. It's just wherever your, your starting point is, the, if your goal is aesthetic, you know, to change your physique, right. Your body composition, uh, running is just not the ideal way to get there. Now, if you get there, you build the physique you want, and then you want to introduce running into the routine because you love doing it, then I think that's a great strategy and there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a very healthy way to live. But people will just, for some reason, still think that that is like a really good strategy to yeah. get well, the especially when shape. you have a timeline, you right. know, like, like, yeah, it's it just be specific with, with your goals.